All right, Makeup Geeks, it's spring and summertime, and what I wanted to do for you guys is pick out six fresh and fun lip colors for spring and summer because the trend right now is not to do as much with the eyes, which it's hard for me because I love wearing a lot of eye makeup, but it's to go a little bit more simple with the eyes, do you know a cat eyeliner, but play up the lips a lot. So I wanted to pick out some fun lip colors. I have three lipsticks and three lip glosses for your guys' choice, depending on what type of girl you are. Are you a lipstick girl or a lip gloss girl? <laughs> Personally, I could do both. I think I'd go a little bit more towards the lip glosses, but um, in no particular order. Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll show you the swatches. I have them on the back of my hand. So these are the colors that I picked. Really pretty. What I feel like for spring and summer, the trend is, is more the purpley colors because the color of the year is that orchid color, which is beautiful. It's this one right here, where it's kind of a peachy or a pinky purple color. So we're seeing a lot of that right now, but also the corals are always in for summertime because it's just very summery, very um, warm and um, all that great stuff. So first lipstick is by dose of colors and this was actually my favorite out of the six that i picked out i love this lipstick so much i bought two <laughs> this is the color love potion and that's this color right here it's a gorgeous kind of purpley uh you know pink color that orchid color like i said what is that under my nose a little smudgy so let me show you this lip color I believe the price of this is $16 or $18, somewhere in that price range, but they're so pigmented, they're so creamy, they're very vibrant. I love this lip color a lot. Obviously, it's very bright, and I yes, I know I have some spring makeup going on right now, so it's probably going to clash a little bit, but I just want to show you the colors. But I love this so much. I do it for the weekend. I'll do kind of like a light gray smoky eye and then I'll do the lip color or I'll just do a winged liner, a little bit of color in the crease with this lip. It's absolutely beautiful. I love that one so much. By the end of this video, my lips are going to be so jacked, <laughs> which is okay. Got to sacrifice for a video. Okay, the next lip color is by Bare Essentials and this is the Buxom Lip Color. I've had this for a little while. This is the color swinger you swinger you that is this darkish kind of violety purple right here so this love potion one by dosa colors is great it'll work for everyone but i think it looks a little bit better on fair to medium skin but this bare essential one looks great on medium to dark skin everyone can pull it off as well it's all preference but i feel like the little bit deeper of that orchid color looks a bit better on the darker skin because the love potion can be just a little bit light for dark dark skin so that's why i chose this one so let me swatch it for you guys or put it on so pretty really nice kind of purpley color me personally i'm obsessed with purple lips right now really really pretty and it's a little bit brighter so it's fun obviously it's clashing with the eye makeup but on its own it's just a gorgeous color i forget the price of this one i want to say it's in the same range about 18 16 18 dollars I will link to it below on the Make It Geek site. I will have pictures, swatches, prices, where to buy all that great stuff. So click on that. Um, let me wipe it off. Woo! Lips are already getting dry. Okay, the third lipstick is a YSL one. And let me show you guys that. This is some more coral color. This is number 36. Really, really pretty. And that is this one right here. Gorgeous, kind of corally. It has a little bit of a pink tint to it as well but it's bright. This is so fun for summer. And it's just bright and it's not too orange. I know a lot of people are saying on the run noise they saw a lot of orange lipstick for spring, but I feel like a lot of people don't want to wear straight up orange lipstick. It's just too, I don't know, it's hard to pull off and it makes your teeth look yellow. So if you can get something like this where it has a little bit of a pink to it, it's like a corally pink, it's a bit more flattering for everyone. And this is a shade that will look great on everyone, fair up to medium skin. The price of this YSL lipstick is a bit more. I think it's in the $20 to $30 range. So it is an expensive lipstick, but it's very smooth and pigmented. YSL makes great lipstick, so it's a great kind of investment piece for your makeup collection. Okay, let's get onto the lips, uh, lip glosses. Hold on. Like I'm like using a Huggies wipe to wipe off my lips. Great job there. Okay. The next one is a lip gloss by Maybelline. And this is a nice bright pink color. Let me show you guys that one. 
Ooh la la, and I love this sleek, cute little packaging. This is great for your purse, great for travel, because it's just the perfect size, because honestly, something this big, who's gonna use that much lip gloss anyways? This is a nice, compact version. By the time you get tired of it, you'll run out of it, so it's perfect. <laughs> this is the Maybelline, I forget what lip glosses these are, the Elixir Color Sensational Lip Glosses. They have these at Ulta, most drugstore. This is the color number 85. It's a gorgeous pink, a brighter uh, pink color. It's this one right here. Do you see how it's a bright, coolish pink color? This looks great, again, on everyone. So, oh, and let me show you guys the wand. It's a nice kind of flat doe fit wand with little ridges in it, so it applies very, very well. It picks up a lot of products. It's a really cool applicator. I like it a lot. And the formula of this is so smooth. It's not sticky, and as you can tell, look how pigmented it is. It's just a really nice lip gloss. Maybelline did a very, very good job on these lip glosses. I was really impressed really pretty it almost feels like a lip cream it's very very smooth little tacky but not much at all so that's that one there kind of sad to take that one off i really like that <laughs> the next one is another ysl i know what you're thinking you're like geez marlene you're picking all these expensive ones i gave you a drugstore one as well this ysl lip gloss is a new one they just came out with a different formula this is the gloss volupt which i'm probably botching number 203 Nice, pretty, soft coral color. So their lipstick I showed you was kind of a brighter coral. If you want something a little bit toned down for daytime, this is great for daytime wear, but still very fresh and summery, and that's this color right here. Gorgeous. Let me show you that. The applicator on this is really cool, too. Let me try to get a close-up shot. Do you see how it's kind of a side? It's like a snake shape, but on the end, it's flat, so that way it applies really evenly across your lip. I love the applicator on this. It's very unique. So look at that, oh, it feels like smooth butter. It's like butter on your lips. <laughs> it's so smooth, it's so creamy. The color uh, pigmentation on these lip glosses is a little bit sheer, not too much. That's why I'm saying it's great for daytime wear if you're going to work. These would be perfect. They're not sticky whatsoever, but it has that nice gloss to it. I just wish they were maybe a little more pigmented, but for daytime wear, I think it's perfect. So love that one a lot as well. And then the last one, is a nice pink color. Sorry, wipe that off. Okay, the last one I chose a pink, even though pink, you know, has been around obviously for a long time. Everyone wears pink, and it's still a great color, obviously. I feel like for this year specifically, it's more towards the purples and then a little bit of the corals, but for a nice true pink lip gloss, I love this one a lot. It's by Naked, or by Naked Cosmetics, by Urban Decay. They're naked lip gloss. <laughs> it's this one here. This is the color Love Child, and the swatch of that is right there. These lip glosses are amazing. They just launched these not too long ago. I love the packaging on it, how it has the kind of engraved naked design on there, and you can see the color on the end, which I love. The packaging is just flawless on it, and the applicator is a flat doe fit wand as well. So um, the formula is pretty pigmented, it's not too tacky at all. It's very creamy. It's very glossy, but not too, too sticky. So I love that. And it smells pretty minty, too. It smells like a fresh mint, so it'll help freshen your breath after lunch, too. <laughs> so that is my top six picks for lip colors for spring and summer. If you guys have these colors, post um, your makeup looks on the Makeup Geek site. We have the idea gallery where you get to show off your looks. Everyone gets to vote on it and pick the top one. So if you want to show me your look, I would love for you to just hit me up so I can check that out on the Makeup Geek site. Or if you have a YouTube channel, link to me on that as well. I'd like to see what you guys do with some of these lip colors. So hope you guys have a great spring and summer and um, stay safe out there and I will talk to you soon. Bye.